Hello. Now I love using my track saw in the workshop. It gets used on virtually every project and I particularly love the way in which you can get straight and accurate cuts simply by aligning the edge of the track saw guide to the pencil marks on your workpiece. But there's one particular cut where you need to allow for the width of the blade for which I've designed a little guide to help get that all important track aligned correctly with your pencil marks. That's all coming up. Okay, so this is your typical cutting setup. A long cut down the length of a board. So in this particular case, I've measured my 57 centimeters, made marks on either end of the board, joined them up with a ruler, and now I've got something against which I can place my rail. So in most cuts, the piece that you want to keep is underneath the rail itself. But let's say it's the three and a half centimetres on this side of the cut that you wish to keep. In order to, to allow for the fact that the blade cuts on the outside of the rail, then you'll need to bring your rail in 2.2 millimetres. And this is where my guides help. So the guides I've made are really very simple. They're a thin piece of plastic with a ridge running down the middle. The width of the ridge is 2.2 millimetres, the same width as the kerf of my blade. Now the window is what you use to align your guide to the pencil mark and then the ridge down the middle is what you butt your guide rail against. Pretty simple. Let's have a look. and then we make our cut. So the guides themselves come in pairs and there's a grey 2.2 millimeter and a red 1.6 millimeter kerf variety. The 1.6 millimeter kerf blades are typically found on Makita 36 volt battery plunge saws. So there you go. Um, there's not really much more to show or to say about them. Uh, these are a really simple solution to a very common problem when you're using track saws of any kind. So that's Makita, Titan, Triton, Evolution, and uh, obviously if you're a Festool TS55 user you'll enjoy having these as well. Uh, they're available on my website, they're not very expensive. Uh, I'll ship worldwide so if you're in the US or Canada, New Zealand, India, uh, Norway, Sweden, I've shipped all of those com com uh, countries in the last couple of months and, um, and, and I really really think that these are great and I want you to have these too so feel free to drop by the website and uh, pick a pair up for yourself and then uh, let me know what you think. So that's all for today and uh, if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments leave them down below as well and I'll answer as many of them as I can. But for now from the workshop, cheerio.